everyone, how's it going? This is Downing from over at the Modded by Bacteria forums, and I just wanted to show you my third completed portable, the uh, Nimbus 2. It is kind of a uh, slight similarity to the original Nimbus that I put out about a year ago, um, but this one is uh, more compact, a lot smaller, uh, better designed, and you know, really just an all-around uh, better machine. But um, I don't have a tripod again, it's something I really got to invest in in some in the near future, but we'll just take you around the system here real quick. Much like the original Nimbus, it has a uh, D-pad from a GameCube as well as a uh, joystick. They tend to be my favorites only because they uh, a lot smaller and seem to hold up a lot better. Um, the C buttons were actually from a third-party USB controller for a computer. Um, not really sure what the name is, but it was pretty cool. The A and B buttons from uh, the Interact Super Pads, the GameCube Start button, and uh, the speakers were actually a set of PC speakers I got from DigiKey because the ones that I uh, had originally from the PlayStation screen just weren't going to cut it. And the Zenith 5 inch PS1 screen, which are becoming increasingly rare, so it's probably the last portable I'm going to make that uses them. It's a pity. On the back, we've got probably my favorite part, um, the little Nimbus 2 logo. Uh, this was actually done as an afterthought, because I was originally going to uh, relocate the expansion port on the board of the N64, but it just wasn't going to, uh, wasn't going to happen. I just didn't have the time or the patience to get it right. So I did a little case mod and vacuum formed a number two and I had already had the Nimbus or the N logo cut right in there, so that seemed to work out all right. Um, PlayStation R and L buttons with dual Zs. And yes, the card comes out at a 90 and I probably wouldn't have done that if I knew I was going to do this type of case mod here because it would have all fit right in and been fine, but, you know, things change. And one other cool thing. Instead of using uh, the standard slide switch, I put in a nice uh, mini rocker, uh, single pole double throw. So uh, turn it this way, system comes on. Nice blue LEDs. Which I thought were kind of cool that shine right through there. And you turn it off and you turn it into this position and it charges. So, just do well, probably my favorite part now. Quick comparison. This is the original Nimbus. And that is the new one. See if I can get to sit back a little bit further. As you can tell, there's a substantial size difference. And I think it's pretty cool. Yep. But. Flip her on. best part about I love having that card out though it becomes its own little personal stand but as for you who are following along you know I was having a great deal of trouble with the um, with the d-pad and the last controllers but <clears throat> I got a third-party super pad board in there not the interact ones but the other ones and I think I found a new favorite but everything works But anyway, you've seen all this before, so anyway, thank you for uh, watching and taking a look at the system. This took me a lot longer than I thought it was going to, and it still didn't quite come out as well as I wanted it, but it's done, and I'm happy with it, so we'll be starting on the next project soon. I will see you guys on the forums. Thank you.